here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh no. So this is our engineer. This is the forward reverse, like a reverse on your car. You go that way, you go forward and get back. Do you want to get back there? Like throttle. Okay. This is the brake system. And as you can see, the more you put it on, the higher the mounting is there. The power is there. This is what's pushing the brake shoe up against yeah. the brake wheel. So the more you press on it, the heavier you get. Okay? a brake system that would run the box cars. If you'd have a whole string of box cars on, you'd have to put this brake on. And again, it will raise the red hand just to stop all the box cars at the same time. So what we're going to do is have you back up so it's already in reverse. We're going to pull the throttle back, give a little gas to about one or two, release the air, and just come back with it towards me. This time, that released it. Give her a little gas. Shoot. It's easy. That's all my job is. <laughs> anybody can do it. You're not supposed to tell anybody oh, that. Oh, I'm though. sorry. It took years and years of practice and work. Hey, we're just going to back up and uh, we're going to be coming to an ice house where they used to make all the ice for refrigerator cars. You can slow down just a little bit. But this ice house, uh, before they had mechanical refrigerators or ice boxes as we know them today, they only had ice cubes that kept things cold. This big building made all the ice ice that was needed to put in refrigerator cars restore. We're going to come up to what they call Transco Rail Car Service. That's you can just slow down by just putting a little bit of air on. You can watch it. And then uh, real uh, Transco, they repair uh, box cars and uh, uh, car carriers for other railroads. And they also paint our locomotives uh, for us. They painted 50 of them this year. I asked them why they didn't try it. They said they never had, so they tried it and they made them a nice job for them. And this uh, Transco building was the old roundhouse when they had it here for the Chicago Great Western building. Okay. Okay, you can stop it. Do I go ahead and put this uh, idle yeah, before I put, put the brake back on? Idle. Okay. Just nice and gentle. That's all there is to the industries. How far would you go in a day? Uh, you could generally go, they'll run from Chicago to Cedar Rapids in a day, and that constitutes a day's run, but it only takes, oh, maybe six hours to do that. Now, they'll run 70 to 80 mile an hour on the welded rail with 100 cars on behind them. On the welded over. rail? Welded rail. These have joints on them. When the sections of rail, you see on down alongside here, there's some sections of rail lane. Well, that's how these rails are put together, one section at a time. But in welded rail, it's one continual stream of, of the rail. There's no brakes in it. And it's really smooth, and it just, just like glass running across it. Now you can look at the rail here and show a little bit of brake. Yeah, you don't have that on the main line. And this is why it's a four mile an hour crossing. These things have a tendency to jump off the track. We do have a museum in town, and uh, they have those first two buildings that are given to them by the railroad. The first was an American Express building that was here at the beginning of the railroad history. The first one right here, the little one with the green door. The other one was Chicago Great Western Yard Offices, and that's all museum, as well as the tower that belongs to the museum. What about that black? That's also museum. All those are museums. Yeah. <laughs>